Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to the Fat Hipster Channel. I'm John, and today I am at Home Eating White Castle. You can see that that's what it says on the cup. It's also what it says on this bag. So, what new stuff does White Castle have to offer? Well, actually, it's some newer stuff. But it is a new variant of some newer stuff. Just with stuff that White Castle already had rearranged and put into something else. May I present to you the White Castle. Let me get the receipt so I know exactly what the name of these things are. Have the Huzzah! The 1921 combo. And that in this combo, I chose two of the new flavors of the 1921 slider. I have the barbecue bacon cheddar and the ghost pepper. What are the difference between this? And the typical one for the barbecue bacon they add barbecue sauce they switch the American cheese for cheddar cheese and of course they add bacon um, in the past I've already reviewed uh, the regular 1921 two times both when it originally came out in select places and then again when it came out everywhere you can see it is a thicker patty Bake on the bottom. This one has lettuce, tomato, lettuce, tomato, and pickles. I don't see barbecue sauce. Maybe some of the cheese. We'll find out when we take a bite. Where and if this sandwich has barbecue sauce on it. Here we go. I do not see, nor do I taste, barbecue sauce. So this 1921 barbecue bacon cheddar should just be called 1921 bacon cheddar because they did not add barbecue sauce to it. That being said, I still enjoy their 1921 patty. They've actually put a decent quality of lettuce and tomato on here. And lettuce and tomato really go well with bacon all the time. Also, for a place that specializes in just like steam sliders. Their bacon is often very crispy and tasty. In fact, one thing that I've recently discovered, I think I discovered this sometime earlier this summer, was that Burger King is not the only place you can get burgers for breakfast. You can get burgers for breakfast at White Castle as well. Their entire menu, burgers and breakfast, are available 24-7. I think for most locations that I know of. You may want to check yours before you uh, ask for one or the other at the time they're not making it. But the best thing that I've discovered is you can get a original cheese slider with bacon and an egg on top of it and it is delicious it's a perfect combination of burger and breakfast anyway here's the second variant of the 1921 burger and this is ghost pepper cheese as you can see it still has the lettuce and tomato it's got that white cheese which is supposed to be ghost pepper cheese nothing on the bottom just patty and bun 
They've had different ghost pepper flavored things before at the White Castle. <clears throat> Off the top of my head, I don't remember exactly how spicy it is, but I don't think it blew my mind. Let's go ahead and taste down the 1921 sandwich and see how it goes. There's definitely a little bit of heat on that. I wouldn't say it has a very ghost peppery flavor. It just kind of tastes spicy in general. <clears throat> I know ghost peppers and reapers, they're at that level of spicy that most of the sensation you get is heat and you don't really get a lot of discernible flavor. I know there's some pepper heads out there that will be able that definitely will be able to tell the difference <clears throat> in flavor between all those. Um, this one it just tastes like a, a white American cheese that's been spicy. I would say definitely I wouldn't feed this to uh, children who aren't used to eating spicy things. I know, for example, uh, my son, my oldest son, is just barely now able to tolerate some uh, like Louisiana hot sauce. Uh, for the most part, anytime there's something secretly spicy and something, he can detect it and he's not too happy about it. So, both of those are good. If you want a little bacon, if you want a little spice, it's a good uh, different variant for the 1921 slider, which I already think is really good. It was, let's see here, hmm, they don't have like a one price for the combo because it's like, they show the price of each slider and then they take off like 87 cents as a discount for the combo. So, can't really tell you exactly what that price was for that but the barbecue bacon slider was 239 the ghost pepper slider was 219 then it has the fries and the drink added that subtracts 87 cents from that speaking of the drink though i ordered one of their new uh flavors they're advertising called sprite midnight it's supposed to be sprite with a dark berry flavoring every picture that i've seen of it online it's a really dark purple color However, you will notice in this cup, it is quite clear that it is not dark and it is instead clear. It tastes like Sprite. Is there anything different about it? I don't think so. You think like a dark berry flavor would be very obvious. It even says on my sheet, Sprite MN. Stands for Midnight, not Minnesota in this case. However, this is just regular Sprite. This is the second time I've been to this White Castle location where I've tried to order a Coca-Cola Freestyle blend. Uh, I think the first time was when they were doing their Coke cream soda mixture, and what I got was just cream soda. Yeah, Sprite is okay, but I wanted to try the midnight one. So you don't 
you put barbecue sauce on your barbecue sliders, you don't put midnight in your striped midnights. Anyway, I have one last thing that I would like to go ahead and review while I'm here. This is a, a new dessert they have. Um, if you go to White Castle, they have a lot of like treats on a stick. They have um, a cheesecake on a stick. They have gooey butter cake on a stick. And now they have a strawberry cheesecake. It's like with like an Oreo crumb crust on a stick. Let's go ahead and try it out. It is a uh, little cold. The strawberry jam is a little icy. When I bit through it, you can tell there's like ice crystals in it. But taste wise, it's basically all you can expect. It has a strawberry jam flavor, it has a cheesecake flavor, and it has a Oreo cookie flavor. It's a little fruity, a lot of cheesecake, and a lot of Oreo flavor. I would say the only way that you could be disappointed by this is if you wanted more strawberry flavor and less Oreo flavor. I'm going to try flipping it upside down, taking a bite, and seeing if the flavor I get is any different. Maybe initially, but let's start chewing it up. The Oreo crust flavor dominates over the strawberry flavor. We call this a strawberry swirl cheesecake on a stick chocolate cookie crust. It's more chocolate cookie than it is strawberry. It's still really good, but if you're ordering it, because you really like strawberry flavor things and not so much chocolate cookie flavor things, you might be disappointed. Anyway, that's it for this video. From the White Castle. Probably too small or too close to bring in the focus. But that's it. The 1921 New Variants Barbecue Bacon cheddar and ghost pepper they're both decent varieties to try they have them in a combo where you can get two of them with fries and a drink and it's a little bit cheaper than buying them separate anyway thank you for watching give this video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and i will still be trying new interesting items in the future hopefully i ain't quitting yet We'll see you then. Bye for now.